Hi Gandhi class, welcome to your first science lesson this week. Now our learning objective for this lesson is can I recognise a force as a push or a pull? So my turn, your turn. Force. Force. I want you to have a quick think. What is a force? Pause the video to have a think. A force is a push or a pull acting on an object as a result of the object's interaction with another object. So here we have two pictures. The two objects in this picture is the man and the door. This man is pushing on the door. So that is the interaction between these two objects. The man, object one, is pushing on object two, which is the door. Whereas over here, we've got the man as the object one, the door is object two, but this man is pulling on the door. That is the interaction between these two objects. <laughs> Forces can make objects stop or start moving. And what I'm going to ask you to do now is I want you to pause this video and watch the following clip that shows you the effects of forces on different objects. Now, the link to this clip is on your weekly task sheet. So it is a BBC bite sized clip that I want you to go and watch. But while you are watching on either your mini whiteboard or on a piece of paper, I want you to note down any examples of pushes or pulls that you can see. Please come back to this video once you have finished watching the clip. Okay, so I want you now to have a think. What is pushing and what is pulling? Pause the video to have a think about what is pushing and what is pulling. So pushing is when you are moving something away from you. You are pushing it away. Whereas pulling is when you are bringing it towards you. So well done if you got that. So here are some examples of pulling forces. I wonder if you spotted any of these in the videos that we just watched. So you've got a rower who is pulling the oar because it is helping him move through the water. He is pulling the oars towards him in order to be able to move him and the boat forward. You've also got a tug of war where the teams are pulling on the rope. So you can see this girl here is pulling it towards her, whereas this boy here is pulling it towards him. You've also got a catapult. Now the catapult, as you can see here, it is being pulled back in order to be able to fling whatever is in here forwards. So it needs to be pulled back. Over here, we've also got an archer and he is pulling the string of his bow back in order to be able to shoot the arrow forward. But to do that, he needs to pull the string towards him. You've also got the pulling of a sledge. You might be pulling it towards you in order to move it to a different place. And over here, we've got a bell ringer who is pulling the rope. So she is pulling it down in order to ring the bell. I wonder if you noticed any of these examples of pushing forces in the video we watched. So we've got the runner who is pushing their feet off of the ground in order to move them forward. You've got a person who is playing the piano. They need to push down the keys in order to make the sound. You've got a girl who is pushing the hockey stick forward in order to be able to move the ball. This is very similar. The golf club is also needed to be pushed forwards in order to move the golf ball. A bat needs to be pushed forwards in order to move the ball. And the woman is pushing the pram forwards so that they can go wherever they need to go. So what I want us to do now is we're going to quickly put these forces into action. This is a quick little activity for you to do um, as a bit of fun. So with your adult or sibling, if they're not busy, I want you to choose one of the actions from the pictures I showed you earlier or think of your own and create a freeze frame of the chosen action. And if you are able to, I would love for you to take a picture of that, of you doing the action, using the force um, and putting it onto tapestry. So I'm going to go back quickly so you can have a look at the forces that we have here. If you need to pause the video looking at one of these forces, then please do. 
And here are the pull forces. So you can pause the video here to have a go at acting out one of these forces. Now, if you are unable to do this with an adult or a sibling, don't worry about it. There is another way that we can do this. If you push your, put your hands together and push them against one another, I want you to have a think about how that feels. What force or motion are you doing when you are putting your hands together like this? And then um, what else I would like for you to do is to grab an object and drag it along the floor. What force or motion are you using and how do you know? So that's just a quick activity for us to do as a bit of fun and a little bit of a warm up. Now, what your task is going to be is I want you to have a look at all these different forces here. And what you're going to do is write what is happening in the picture and then write what force is being used and the direction the force is going. However, if you would like to challenge yourself further, instead of writing A, B or C, then you can draw the picture. Let me show you how I want this to look on your piece of paper. So if we take the first one, we've got A here, you can either write A or draw a picture of somebody mowing the lawn. Then what you need to do is write down A, mowing, oh, mowing the lawn. And if we have a look, we can see that he is pushing the mower forward. So we know that the force is push. And then what you need to do is you need to draw the direction of the force that it is going in. So you get your pencil and you would tell me that it is being pushed forwards. Then you would go on to the next one, which is B. You need to tell me what they're doing in this picture, what force is being used, and the direction the force is going in. Please make sure you upload all of your work to Tapestry, and I'll see you next time, Gandhi class. Bye.